have thrown this party to celebrate Super Bowl Minnesota style. Word got around, uh, I think we probably have 35 to 40 people here and uh, just having a real Super Bowl party. A hundred miles to the south, 63,000 people are paying at least $150 to be at the Metrodome. Here on the lake, they're having a great time for free at the Murphy Dome. Jason Davis, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, Millax Lake, Minnesota. That's the way to spend the Super Bowl. Well, Super Bowl fans will pump about $140 million into the local economy. And even those who aren't football fanatics did their part today. Business was booming at this Tidal Wave video store in Roseville. We found Sarah and Ann Pippen checking out their favorite videos, but also checking out very little of the game. We're just not that big of fans of football. Fans of looking at the guys. That's about it. <laughs> and we check with other Twin Cities video stores. They say even though it was Super Bowl Sunday, it was business as usual. And our video cameras tonight captured the Minneapolis skyline sparkling in the glow of an aerial light show. That's right. About an hour ago, Super Bowl fans leaving the Metrodome were greeted with fireworks like these exploding overhead. When Eyewitness News continues, the spotlight turns to meteorologist Bill Schwartz and our forecast. Never has so much thought gone into so much fun for so little. The all-new Achieva from Oldsmobile. Lease for just $1.99 a month with nothing down. Choose a two-door for fun or a four-door for family. Get anti-lock brakes, a quad-four engine, auto, air, AM, FM, and more for only $1.99 a month with nothing down. Now that's the power of intelligent engineering. See your new generation of Oldsmobile dealers today. KS95 FM, the best variety of songs from the 70s, 80s, and today. We listen to KS95 all day. It's not soft and boring. It keeps me energized. KS95 plays more music. Bye, Mom. No rap, no hard rock. KS95, it's perfect. KS95 FM, more music, great variety. There's no place like home for quality oak and leather furniture. And there's no place like home for the most affordable prices. Choose from contemporary and traditional oak bedroom and dining room sets. Sofas, chairs, love seats, and sectionals in top grain leathers. Office furniture and entertainment centers. All in one of the area's largest selections. Home oak and leather. For quality, selection, and affordability, there's just no place like home in Bloomington and Roseville. Smith, the coach of the dream team for the Big Brothers and Sisters. Look at this team. Rick Fenney of the Vikings and World Series hero Gene Larkin. On February 29th, we'll be bowling for kids' sake. Get a team together and join the fun. For more information or to make a donation, call the Big Brothers and Sisters at 374-3638. Help the dream team make some dreams come true. Yeah! Minnesota is ready for Super Bowl 26, and so are we. This week, we'll be live from the Metrodome, the site of Super Bowl 26. Carl Eller, Pat Royce, and more. Well, I hate to break this to our friends who are visiting from maybe L.A. or Miami, uh -huh. but this has been a wonderful heat wave today. Beautiful and sensational. Yeah. Mid-20s throughout the day. It's Last couple great. of days, uh, it's been pretty mild around here. We had that nice cold spell, though, during the short, week. Short, though. It was little. It was very Just short. Just to scare them a little bit when they first got here. Exactly. And when you, <laughs> when you figure our average low is about 2 degrees this time of year, we've been very lucky uh, overall for the through winter. January. Pretty nice. And you know what? I think we're going back into that very mild pattern for the next several days. No really Arctic cold air heading our way. We're going to see temperatures in the 30s for much of this upcoming week. Could even get close to 40 degrees by Wednesday or Thursday. Well, we like the fireworks so much after the game, we thought we'd give you one more shot of them. A real show out there tonight. And a great night, as Inga said earlier, with the temperatures in the mid-20s. And uh, just a bit of an overcast guy. Could even see a flurry or two a little bit later on. Currently outside, though, 26 degrees. That's where we've been sitting now for about the past six hours. Relative humidity, 81%. South winds at 5 Bare match pressure is holding steady now at 30.02 inches. High temperature 26, that's, as I said, been our current temperature for the last six hours. Low temperature this morning 7, no precip here in the Twin Cities. The snow fell to our north. Sunrise tomorrow morning at 738. Well, even though we missed this storm, there's still plenty of snow on the ground. 10 inches in the Twin Cities, 10 inches also in Brainerd, 10 inches in Alex. The heaviest snow, though, up here in the northeastern part of the state. 
Duluth sitting with 19 inches of snow on the ground. Lutzen nearly two feet, and they picked up uh, an additional, I think it was seven and a half inches of snow during the day today. That's because the Alberta Clipper that was supposed to bring us snow, well, that moved just to our north. You can see the clouds here right across the northern part of the state. That's where the snow fell, and there's still some snow left in northeastern Minnesota up around Ely. That clipper moves off to the east. Milder air starts to build in from the west, and it looks like the cold air is going to shift to our northeast for the next several days. High temperatures tomorrow in the 20s, but that's the cool day this week. We get into the 30s, maybe even the 40s later in the week. Our forecast for the rest of tonight, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a flurry or two, lows in the low to mid-teens. Tomorrow morning, we could see a flurry. Don't count on it. Absolutely no accumulation and a temperature of 16 degrees. Now, by tomorrow afternoon, I do think we'll see at least a little bit of sunshine, mild. High temperatures, 24 to 29. Tomorrow night, maybe some fog late, but mild temperatures again, low 16 to 21. And on Tuesday, that's when the warming trend really gets started. High temperatures, low to mid 30s, and at least partly cloudy skies. Extended forecast, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday continues a very mild streak. Highs in the 30s, lows in the upper teens to lower 20s, and maybe just a little bit of light snow by about Friday. So get outside, enjoy the next couple of days. It's going to stay mild probably throughout this entire week. Mm. Yay. Sounds yeah, great. Yeah, it's going to be great. Thanks. Right. Well, last night's $9 million Lotto America winner is from, I know you're all saying back home, Wisconsin, and you're right. The winning ticket was purchased in Jackson, located near an area of the state now called the Golden Triangle. It's home to five previous Megabucks winners. Wisconsin's 26th Lotto America winner has not come forward yet. Well, next in sports, we will go back live to the Metrodome. That's where the Redskins have been crowned the NFL champions. Eric Gisselson has highlights and reaction when Eyewitness News continues. This Eyewitness News weather update is brought to you by Chase Manhattan Credit Cards. Life doesn't stop when the sun goes down, which is why with a Chase Manhattan Credit Card, you can call us to request a change in your credit limit or get information about your balance anytime, day or night. We're flexible because after nearly 200 years, we've learned never to leave our customers in the dark. Chase, profit from the experience. If you're tired of lugging these kitty car seats around, you'll love this. The world's first child seats that are built right in. Now your kids can have their own seats that fully meet federal standards. Built-in child seats are available only in Plymouth Voyager that also has standard driver's minivan airbag for us big people. Plymouth Voyager, now you see it, now you don't. Now get $500 cash back during our Drive for the Gold celebration. Winter's okay, but Mexico's better. So tune in to 92 KQRS every morning at 710 and learn how to win MLT vacation heat retreats to Los Cabos. 92 trips in all from classic rock and roll 92 KQRS. Used to be when you got sick, you'd visit the family doctor. Nowadays, medicine is much more specialized and sometimes one doctor isn't always enough. That's why there are orthopedists and radiologists and ear, nose, and throat people. Heck, there are doctors for just about everything under the sun these days. And it makes sense to take advantage of all that knowledge and experience. We did. And now you can too. The Doctor of the Day, weekdays on Live at 5. The great thing about a Super Bowl like this, it really didn't matter who won because the Vikings weren't in it, so we didn't really <laughs> care anyway. But uh, we still want to bring the game to you. That's right, and Eric Gislason is now inside the Dome. I'm glad you got in there, Eric. You looked a little chilly Thank earlier today. Thank you. I, I talked the red coat into, into letting me inside. <laughs> Sup Super Bowl trivia quiz for you. Name the local sportscaster who said the Redskins would win by two touchdowns. Eric Gislason? <laughs> nah, it wasn't him. I said Call Buffalo by three. Call me a liar for a point. Yeah. Minnesota missed a Super Bowl nail-biter by 13 points down here at the Metrodome tonight, Randy and Inga. No questions asked. Washington wins 37-24, to the final here at the Metrodome. We have some tape for you, some highlights. Uh, the Redskins came out, quite frankly, like they were shot out of a cannon. Mark Rippon hooked up with Ernest Biner on this 11-yard first quarter hookup. It was 10-0 skins. It was 17-0 Washington in the second, and Washington's vaunted national defense wasn't budging. 
averaging. Jim Kelly picked off four times tonight. Daryl Green got that one. Buffalo seemingly got unglued in the second quarter. They were in field goal range when Andre Reed thought Brad Edwards interfered with him here. So disgusted was Andre, he threw his helmet, and the penalty would cost Buffalo a probable field goal. More of the same for Buffalo in the second half. First play of the second, Kurt Gouvet picks off Kelly and returns it to the Buffalo two-yard line. That led to a touchdown. And, folks, Washington wasn't done yet. Mark Rippon, the Super Bowl MVP here tonight with a great, great, great toss to Gary Clark. 30 yards for the score. Rippon, 18 of 33, 292 yards, two touchdowns, and soon it would be celebration time. 37-24, the final. Now, for post-game reaction, now we want to turn it over to Joe Schmidt, who was in that winner's locker room. He's down on the field with more. Joe? certainly in hog heaven tonight. Joe Gibbs has won three Super Bowls, and to tell you how good a coach he is, he's won it with different quarterbacks each time. First it was Joe Theismann, then it was uh, Doug Williams, and now Mark Rippon. And after the game, when the celebration was going on, I talked to Charles Mann on the field. Feels good, man. Worked hard, man. Worked hard all season long, and this is what you get, you know, for hard work. And I just praise God, and I'm thankful. Got out of it healthy. Everybody got a little winded today, and but we're glad that the, it's over. We got out of it all right. And the party was on, and the party will continue here on Channel 5 because we got the complete Super Bowl wrap for you coming up on a special edition of Sunday Sports Wrap. Carl Eller will be joining us along with Patrick Royce, Rob Lear, post game from both locker rooms. It's all coming up on the wrap right after the news. Eric? All right, Joe, we'll look forward to that. Uh, another game today that included skins and bills, but this one was on a golf course in Hawaii. The temps were a little warmer than here in the Twin Cities for the senior skins game. And, hey, they were giving out lots of bills in dollars. Arnold Palmer still got it at age 62. He bounces this shot in from 45 feet. It's worth a cool $100,000. He won 205 grand for the day. Not bad. That's more than the players win. Chichi Rodriguez still knows how to steal an audience, so after knocking home that 45, Footer for 70 grand. He entertained the crowd with this patented saber dance. A great weekend of golf by golfing greats. On the NBA court today, check that. Collegiate court. Ohio State upset by Seton Hall. The Pirates ahead by 12 in the second half behind Terry DeHair. 20 points. The Buckeyes made a late run. Chris Gent finishes off the break, but it wasn't enough as Seton Hall turns away Ohio State. And finally tonight, it's time for our Channel 5 Athlete of the Week. We've been caught up all week with this 26 Super Bowl here in Minneapolis, so we knew it would take a super effort to win this week's award, and by golly, we found one a little south of here in Houston. The week's recipient, Minnesotan Janice Klecker, who today earned a spot on the Summer Olympic team by winning the marathon trials in Houston. Get this, Klecker fell in the 15th mile, but that didn't stop her from running a career best two hours 30 minutes and 12 seconds she's now on to barcelona in the summer games and janice klecker is our channel five athlete of the week 37 to 24 the final washington they are world champions tonight here at the metrodome grab another soda from the fridge put another pizza in because we have a whole lot more slated for you on sunday sports wrap randy Ing? i'm glad to see you finally got in the dome eric last time we VIP. talked to you you were outside in the cold vip baby yeah <laughs> thanks eric well, as we've been showing you all week, the Super Bowl is so much more than just a game. Football fans at the Metrodome today could get their letters postmarked with an official Super Bowl logo. And for just the price of a 29-cent stamp, it's hard to find a cheaper souvenir. Our version of Star Search when Eyewitness News continues. There's a gigantic Super Bowl weekend sale going on at Tonka Ford in Minnetonka. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you'll find brand new 1992 Ford Explorers on sale at 4% over the factory invoice. That's right, the Ford Explorer, the number one selling utility vehicle in America, is on sale this Super Bowl weekend at Tonka Ford at 4% over the actual factory invoice. You can buy and you can save this Super Bowl weekend at Tonka Ford in Minnetonka, west of 494 at Highway 7 and 101. Tonka Ford. Take a look around me at a place like none on land. Sail away now, you find me. Of all the resorts in the world, one takes you to the great places of the world. Royal Caribbean, the grand resorts of the seven seas. Cruise the Caribbean for as low as $4.99 per person, including airfare. Call Hobbit Travel, the experts in cruise and vacation savings. Buy and buy new. Why? 
The lowest prices and lowest payments on brand new Cavaliers, only one thirty nine thirty one. Luminous two twenty four thirty one. Cash back is back, back on Mitsubishi back, back, Eclipses back, back. and Galants, two thousand dollars worth. Nobody sells more new Mitsubishis than YZ Mitsubishi. And the full lineup of Lexus models are here, including a special allocation of new LS four hundred sedans, the original. One great location for car buyers, the YZ Auto Center, only one mile west of four ninety four on all new twelve three ninety four. I'm Lauren Green. Monday on Eyewitness News Morning, an interview with acting legend Jason Robards. That's Monday at 6 a.m. And here at tonight's nice Minnesota State Lottery Daily Three Numbers, match 9, 7, and 3, and you're a winner. And some fans lucky enough to have their tickets at tonight's game got an added bonus sitting next to celebrities in the spotlight. That's right. That's when, when the Redskins started to run away with it. Many of the Dome went from watching the game to watching the stars. Practically everyone saw singer Gloria Estefan, but if you looked a little closer and knew who to talk to, you could see celebs virtually everywhere. On the 50-yard line, businessman Donald Trump and his on-again, off-again fiancée Marla Maples. You'd think sitting near such an attractive woman would be a thrill, but not for this man. Well, when I first got here, I thought it'd be kind of fun, but with everybody taking her picture, it's been in my way too much of the game. Just rows away, world's heavyweight champ Evander Holyfield. On the other side of the arena, 60 Minutes' Andy Rooney. Didn't anyone tell him the Giants didn't make it this year? And didn't anyone inform Saturday Night Live's Chris Farley that the Bears lost in the first round? I don't know what you're talking about. I think the Bears are doing a great job. They're out there, they're giving their best. Uh, you must be watching a different game. It's hard to watch the game when you're stargazing, but that's all part of the Super Bowl hype. Well, I think the people enjoy coming and seeing the celebrities. That's all part of the big event, you know? But do celebrities search for other celebrities? We asked Peter Horton of ABC's 30-something. Looking for celebrities? Um, I'm just sort of looking for the bathroom right now. <laughs> Did he find it? I hope so. We also heard that Ronald Reagan and Jimmy Carter were supposedly there, and uh, Huey Lewis in the news. We were looking, but we couldn't, couldn't find them. Couldn't find them, huh? No, they must be in the boxes hiding. All right, well, that's it for now. I'll leave you with a Skycam 5 shot of the dome, a one last look of Super Bowl 26. Have a good night. Good night. Tonight on Sunday Sports Wrap. The Washington Redskins and Buffalo Bills, the two best teams in the NFL this season, take center stage at the Metrodome for Super Bowl 26. The game is a culmination of years of planning, months and months of preparation, and two weeks of super hype. Did the Super Bowl live up to all the super expectations? Was it all worth it for the Twin Cities? And what kind of job did they do as super hosts? Find out next on a complete Super Bowl edition of Sunday Sports Wrap. Hey, Minnesota, are you ready to go? You'd better be ready, because here comes the sports show for all seasons. Quick moves, big hits, and fast action. It's time for Channel 5 Sunday Sports Wrap. And now, here's to the host of the show, the Sultan of Sports. Let's go! The closing seconds of Super Bowl 26 at the Metrodome as the Washington Redskins celebrate a world championship after their 37-24 win over the Buffalo Bills. It's the third Super Bowl title for the Redskins. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Schmidt, and we're coming to you live tonight from the Metrodome, where just a couple hours ago, the Redskins won Super Bowl 26 in what was a very thrilling game. All that is left now here is the media, and they're filing their reports, getting ready what you'll see in the paper tomorrow, and that's what we're doing here tonight, giving you what you'll see tonight. For the next 30 or 35 minutes, we have a special expanded Super Bowl edition of Sunday Sports Rep, so you'll want to join us. Our lineup tonight includes a complete look at the game, as well as reaction from the key players. 
Rob Lear will have a report on the color and the pageantry and what everybody was saying about the Super Bowl at the Metrodome. And we'll talk live with a guy who played in four Super Bowls. Former Viking Carl Eller gives us his insight tonight. Plus, Patrick Royce will join us with his look at Super Bowl 26 and what it meant to Minnesota. Well, we start tonight with the game itself. And there were a lot of big plays for the Washington Redskins, and they made them when they had to. Jim Kelly was intercepted four times in this game tonight. Former Viking Brad Edwards had a big game. This was one of his two interceptions. The Washington defense controlled the line of scrimmage and the game. The Skins led 17 to nothing at the half. They made it 31-10 in the third quarter when Mark Rippon, the game's MVP, fired a perfect strike to Gary Clark. It was a hail to the Redskins day. Washington 37, Buffalo 24. And after the game, Rob Lear talked to Chip Lowe Miller about the big victory. What, what it means to be a world champion. Oh, it feels great. You get to talk for about four months and uh, you're on the top and uh, you get to be the world champions for about a, you know, four or five months. So it feels great. Have you touched the trophy yet? Can we get no, a shot? No, I haven't. I Let's get that trophy over here. Feel that trophy now. Let's get a trophy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. What does it say on there now? Vince Lombardi Trophy, Super Bowl 26. I imagine it's got to feel pretty good to be. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Had you ever uh, felt this trophy? No, before? I haven't. I have not seen it in person either. You think I could kick that one through the uprights? No, it's too heavy. <laughs> What's next for you? Hold on. Here, here. We got to pass it around. Pass it around. What do you do for an encore? I don't know. I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> Just enjoy it? Oh, yeah. Got to enjoy it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. Chip Low Miller of the Washington Redskins from their locker room as they're passing the trophy around. Joe, let's go back to you. Joining me now playing in the Super Bowls. He played in four of them with the Minnesota Vikings. Carl Eller, former Minnesota Viking great. Super Bowl comes to Minnesota, and we had a very entertaining game. We sure did. Uh, Washington came in, did the things that we expected them to do. They, they had the high, uh, fine power, uh, uh, ripping to, to Monk and Clark, to, and uh, he just had the great scoring the power. Plus, they had the d defense, kept Buffalo off of the boards for the first half. Jim Kelly had such a great season. He led this team to 13 wins during the regular season. He lays an egg in the first half, throws four interceptions. What happened? Well, what it happened was they came in with their same no huddle offense. Uh, Kelly, of course, is a fine quarterback, but they didn't have a chance to adjust at the line of scrimmage. Pettibone threw some different looks up there. The linebackers came, blitzed him, they sacked him or heard him in through the interceptions. We mentioned that uh, you played in four Super Bowls. These two teams took two different approaches. Washington was really loose this week. Buffalo had some infighting. Thurman Thomas spouted off at one time. At one time, there were other players saying they wanted to be traded and so forth. Did this have any effect on the outcome today? Uh, very definitely. They were not concentrated on the game, and, and I think you could kind of see that uh, on the field. Uh, they were not in sync. They did a lot of things wrong right from the very beginning. And uh, what happens in this game, the hype is there, and you try to live up to it. And when things go wrong, it just takes the wind out of you. Now Buffalo has to live with something that you have to live with. Been to the big game a few times, and automatically you're labeled that you can't win the big one, even though you had to win some big ones to get there. Sure you do, and, and that's too bad. I actually was pulling for Buffalo because that seems to be a tag that follows you, and, and I wanted them to win. Uh, but they didn't have the team today, or they didn't play the way that they probably were capable, capable of. Washington's a dynamite team. If they played tomorrow the next four or five games, they may not beat the Redskins. When we scheduled Carl Eller on this show this week, my game plan was to have Hall of Famer Carl Eller. Unfortunately, the votes didn't fall your way this time. Uh, disappointing? It's disappointing. Uh, I suppose at first I may have even been a little angry, uh, but not for myself as much. I got so many well wishes that people were, were saying, hey, I hope you get in, uh, uh, and I wanted to make it. Uh, plus, uh, my kids are younger. Uh, I think this is something uh, that they really didn't see me play that much, so it's kind of a stamp for them. I really wanted, of course, for myself, but uh, it means a lot to a lot of other people, too. Unfortunately, had you won one or two of those Super Bowls, you probably would have been in a couple of years ago. Well, from the way the voting goes, it appears that way, but uh, uh, these guys, uh, they're professionals, uh, you know, like yourself. They know the game. They've been around the game. What you have to realize, it's tough competition. It's just not an automatic, and, and I was up against some tough guys. One last question. How do you think the Twin Cities fared in Super Bowl 26? Well, it was great. Uh, I think the Twin Cities fared well, and uh, I think the people really got a lot out of it, too. So it was really a good match. I, I loved it. The halftime show, that before the game show was exciting. I really just am thrilled about the whole, whole event. Carl, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me, Joe.
That was Carl Eller earlier tonight. Now joining us live is the new top man of the Minnesota Vikings, Denny Green. And Denny, a busy day, a busy, you've been busy since you've been here, and all of a sudden Super Bowl 26 is here. What did you think? Well, I thought it was just a great game. Uh, you know, the uh, NFC team, Washington Redskins, just dominated the game. And basically because they, they don't really worry that much about the no huddle because they don't try to get the nickel. I think the no huddle can be effective if you're trying to get five DBs against three wide receivers. But most NF, F, NFC teams, they don't care if you're in three receivers four receivers. They're going to come out and play man coverage and blitz and take away the running lanes. And so I think that's why Washington was able to dominate the game in the beginning. Both teams took different approaches. I talked to Carl Eller about it. Washington was really loose. Is that the kind of team you're going to want with the Vikings? Well, I think you have to be aggressive and loose. You, you can't tell. I mean, I think that they played a better game today. Uh, they were looser than normal. I think most people noticed that Joe Gibbs seemed to be a little bit more affable than he normally is. And, and uh, you, you can't tell. I think they had a lot of confidence coming in. There were things that they felt that they could do. Uh, you know, Buffalo can't change their whole offense in a two-week period of time. They were a three-receiver offense with one tight end. And that doesn't do so well against a pure 4-3 defense which is what Richie Pettibone and Joe Gibbs run. Mark Rippon, the MVP, this year he starts the season. He doesn't even know if he's going to hold on to a job, and, and we've got some pictures of him throwing just perfect all day today. Well, he's the smartest man in America because he signed a one-year contract last year. So uh, <laughs> I think he's ready to go. Mark is big and strong, and they do enough things rolling him out. He has great, uh, you know, zip on the ball, very smart. Uh, I think that's the thing coming out. That was a, the thing on him. You know, take, take a look at a guy that was not drafted very high. And so often that's the case in the National Football League. You're looking for guys who really like to compete and get the job done. And that's what Mark has always been able to do. Brings a lot of enthusiasm to the ball club. You see a game like this, do you get excited about coaching the Vikings? You get excited about football, no doubt about it. This is the last official game of the season. And I think particularly in here, uh, sitting up in the booth and, and watching this ball game, this is going to be a great place to play. And we want the Viking fans to really get excited to come in here and, and have that noise barometer running very high. News you made this week, Tony Dungy's your defensive coordinator, the former Gopher quarterback. You're happy with that choice, I take it. Outstanding. I think Tony's one of the top defensive coaches in the league, and I think he's going to prove it here with the Minnesota Vikings. What about the Herschel trade? Is that thing going to happen? That's, that's mostly talk. I think we'll see what's going on. we got plenty of time to talk about it. I think Herschel and his attorney have said some things, but now I'm here, and I think we'll have a chance to visit. And if he wants to be a Viking, we want him. If he doesn't, he probably won't be here. Dennis Green, we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Danny Green, the head coach of the Vikings. Still ahead on Sunday Sports Wrap. Much more on Super Bowl 26 live from the Metrodome, including highlights and more reaction. Also, did Super Bowl 26 live up to the super hype? And what kind of job did Minnesota do as the host? Rob Lear will have that story. Right now, though, some super stats from Super Bowl 26. We'll be back with much more, so keep it right here on Channel 5. Sunday Sports Wrap is brought to you in part by your local Northland Ford dealer. For quality people and quality products, see your Northland Ford dealer. By Foreman and Clark, a legend in value. And by DHL Worldwide Express, delivering packages and documents faster to more the world. I believe that the man who wears a suit at work or needs one for a special occasion deserves a great suit affordably priced. That's why each Foreman and Clark store has a wide selection of $150 suits. These suits are masterfully tailored and cut from excellent fabrics in basic colors and patterns. Of course, initial alterations are free at Foreman and Clark, and after your purchase, we provide free pressing, minor alterations, and minor repairs. Remember, Foreman and Clark wants your business for life. Of the 344 new cars and trucks being sold today, these are the top 10 sellers. And of these top 10 sellers, only one dealer can offer you five of them, your local Ford dealer. From America's number one selling small car, Ford Escort, to its design leader, Ford Taurus. From America's number one selling compact pickup, Ranger, and sport utility, Explorer, to the world's number one selling vehicle, Ford F-Series. With five of the top 10 sellers available at your local Ford dealer, shouldn't you test drive one today? Cheetah, this is Mama. We have unknown aircraft vector 081. Roger on traffic. Stand by. Cheetah, this boogie's cooking. Wait, I got him. It's a truck. Markings DHL. Three o'clock. Boogie's off your wing. What's he doing? I think he's trying to pass. DHL delivers overseas, overnight, to more places in the world than any other express company. DHL. Faster to more of the world. 